Rick Hopkins. I'm openly secular. Uh, I am a humanist slash atheist, and I've been that most of my life. Oh, I was raised in the Northeast. Uh, the funny part about my life is growing up, we were liberal Methodist until we came to Pennsylvania, and then we all became liberal Methodists, although I begin to think it was like we call our Sunday morning punishment, our parents to keep us out of the house and keep us out, supposedly out of trouble by getting a little bit of God in our life. Um, my little religious experience when I became a teenager, when you're thinking about the world and what's about to come. Although I find it to be so fascinating because like when I went to the senior thing at, at this Baptist church, they couldn't get in the school where they were supposedly gonna have this event. So they're breaking into the school to try and have this event. I'm thinking, wait, wait a minute, these people are supposed to be part of God and they're breaking into a school? I'm going to jail. Um, and so I kind of began to have some serious doubts about that. And the more I got, I think the more I kind of just, I, I've always challenged things, it's always been my way. I like to know the truth, the bottom line, the truth is my way. And I decided to look at it more and more, I looked into it. The more I decided, you know what, this religion thing has got to be a bunch of books. I personally have not, but I have a, did have a curious thing happen the other day at work. I was by myself, not with the other people I work with, and I have a CD put up the Freedom From Religion Foundation where Dan Barker does a spoof on religious ideologies. You know, um, like, you know, one of my songs do is like, when I was a little kid, I had a fantasy friend, and then I grew up and, fan and I decided I didn't really need the fantasy friend, but it's, it's a spoof on, on, on religion. And I was playing this, and a person came in from another department, heard this and goes, oh, you're one of those. I said, what are you talking about? I'll turn it down, I'll turn it off. I'm not trying to proselytize it to you, but it's what I believe. And strangely enough, he had all kinds of reasons to come returning back to my department and convince me that God is on, is on my side and how he's praying for me and, and how I should be converted and how I don't, I don't I know the world's coming to an end, there's gonna be one world government, and I better get my life straightened out with God. And I said, uh, no. That, that is not going to happen, and I'm not a pessimist. And people, other people out there, some are some raised Catholic and they think they have to be Catholic. They're raised Baptist, they have to be a Baptist. No, you have to decide for yourself what it is. And by me speaking out, no, I do not beat anybody in the head, but I think people should know where you stand, like with anything. And somebody might say, well, you know what? Maybe, maybe he has something there. I don't try to convert but I'll at least let it known that there are people out there that do not believe in God and that they should consider in their own private time, in their own private life, that maybe this thing I believe in God isn't necessarily what I've been told it to be. Uh, humanism is a, an ideology which promotes the human being and uh, aspires that human being to be as great as they possibly can, to make it a better world for all people. Mm -hmm.